What is up everyone? Welcome back to Great A's TV and today I'm going to be talking about the death of Breon Stewart and Lionel Del Pitt III. Breon Stewart who was 23 at the time of her death and Lionel Del Pitt III who was 25 at the time of his death were shot multiple times outside their apartment in the Wind Run Complex in New Orleans on the night of December 15th of 2015. Someone gunned down a pregnant woman and her boyfriend inside a car. This happened last night in the 1200 block of the I-10 service road in New Orleans East. The woman was just one week away from delivering the couple's baby. Natasha Robin has the story. Oh God, everything about my baby was good. She had a good heart. She was a sweet girl. The mother of a pregnant woman murdered in New Orleans East can barely stand the pain. I still wanna, I wanna, I just wanted to walk through this door. I just wanted to use her key and come home, come to me. No, oh, oh, I just want my baby to come home. Nicole Stewart will never see her daughter, Breon, again. Breon Stewart, who was one of seven siblings, one of them being her twin sister, Brittany Stewart, lived in New Orleans and worked at a Seventh Ward fashion store for about 30 hours a week, even as she neared giving birth. But Breon Stewart was always known as someone who worked very hard. Even when she was younger, she pushed her younger sister who struggled with procrastination to study harder. And by the time they both graduated from George Washington Carver High School in 2011, Breon Stewart was the valedictorian and her younger sister was the salutatorian. The two sisters were so close that they even got pregnant around the same time, not on purpose and they were due to have their babies about two weeks apart from each other. And at the time of her death, Breon Stewart was about to graduate with a nursing degree after attending college at Delgado. Lionel Del Pitt III worked two jobs and was the little chief of the Black Feather Mardi Gras Indian tribe, which his father and other family members started in the early 1990s. So on the night of December 15th of 2015, a few weeks after Brittany Stewart gave birth to her daughter, a pregnant Breon Stewart smiled at the foot of her sister's bed just before leaving with her boyfriend Lionel Del Pitt III to go home. And unfortunately, that was the last time anyone in their families saw the two alive. While sitting in Lionel's PT Cruiser in the parking lot of their apartment complex, Breon and Lionel were gunned down. And what made this event even more tragic was the fact that Breon Stewart was nine months pregnant and just one week away from giving birth to a little boy. A little boy who was going to be named Lionel Del Pitt IV after his father. And later the New Orleans coroner determined that the little boy was of viable age, which basically meant that the police could rule this crime a triple homicide. A hideous crime, it's the absolute, there's no good time for a homicide, there's no good time for a murder, but this it, right before the holidays just makes it that much worse. She didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it. My grandbaby didn't deserve it. So as far as what witnesses heard that night, witnesses say that they heard about 20 shots being fired into the car. And police said at the time of the murders that they felt that the two were targeted. But from what I could find, they haven't given any additional information on why they think that. And Breon's mother has stated that her discussions with police hasn't given her any new information. She stated at first that she would call the police about once a week to learn what new information they had on the case, but she started to call less and less frequently because every time she called, she got the same answer. They were questioning people and that was it. I just wanna know why. Stewart has a message for the killer. I do forgive you, but I just want you, I just want you to realize what you've done. You took away our family, my family. Stewart's mother says she wants justice. If you know anything that could help police call Crime Stoppers at 822-1111. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any new information on this case, which is really unfortunate. The most recent news article that I could find was dated in 2016, and it basically said that six months had went by without an arrest. And the article also said that police were taking any and all information that anyone had on what actually happened that night. And I'm not sure if they still are taking information or not, but just in case they are, I'm going to put the number on screen and it's going to be in the description down below. And unfortunately for someone like me who is not from that area and has no connection with the family at all, I couldn't find any new information 
other than the information I stated, which was dated in 2016. So with that being said, if anyone is living in that area of New Orleans, I believe this happened in East New Orleans, or if you are connected to that family in any way, please update in the comments down below me. Please update me with any new information on what is going on. Because as far as I've been able to find, there has been no arrest and this case has basically been cold since 2016. Um, and I really hope that that isn't true. So if anyone does know any more information on this case, please leave it in, leave it in the comments down below. It's really sad that a case like this didn't have continuous media attention, especially since it involved the death of an entire family, uh, a soon to be father and a soon to be mother and their unborn child who was literally a week away from being born. You would think that would be bigger news and people would follow that news and expect an update on the case. But unfortunately from what I could find, that isn't true. Hopefully I'm wrong and I just overlooked something. But as far as I could tell, there hasn't really been any updates on this case, which is partly one of the reasons why I am talking about this case today in this video. Uh, the main reason is because this was a requested video and I would not have known anything about this if it wasn't requested for me to cover. So thank you to the person who requested me to make this video, which leads me to believe that for you to request me to make this video, you either live in that area or maybe you just remembered about you or maybe you just remember this case when it happened. So if you have any new information about this, please leave it down below as well. But hopefully by making this video, if there haven't been any updates to this case since 2016, like I think, hopefully this video brings more awareness to it and maybe just finds the right person who knows the right information who can help this family get closure if they haven't already. Like I said, I, I'm not from the New Orleans area, so as far as the news that I could find on this case, there have been no arrests and the case sh should be still open. But like I said, hopefully I am wrong and there has been arrest and this case is closed, but it doesn't seem that way. So like I said, if you have any information on this, please let me know down below in the comments. But other than that, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Like always, I hope you guys continue to have a great day, great week, great month, great year. And I will catch you next video.